Today we're doing arms, back, and upper body for a toned and sleek look. You can do this video as a standalone video or it is day four of my advanced postpartum workout challenge. I will use 10 pound dumbbells, but use a weight that feels safe and good for you. Or alternatively, you could use water bottles. Let's start with a short warm up before we grab our dumbbells. Arms are probably the thing I need to work on most. I'm a little bit nervous about today. Let's bend our arms and roll our shoulders, keeping your ribs pulled in and down. Other way. Good, take your right arm, stretch it across, switching sides. Last one, good, and dynamic tricep stretch. Last one, good. Let's take a side bend. Exhale up, switching sides. Good. Keeping your core engaged, we'll bring our arms out to the side. Small, tight circles here. Breathing into your side and back ribs. Exhale, engaging your core. Switching directions. Last breath here. Good, I'll set the timer now and we can grab our dumbbells. Starting off with bicep curls, core is engaged. We're gonna come up, lowering it down with control. We'll alternate now. Nice micro bend in your knee, not hyper extending. Shoulders nice and low. Take a breath.
Amazing. Hinge at your hips. Lots of length in your lower back, not rounding out at all. Bro. Elbows coming straight back behind you. Keeping palms faced in this time, hammer curls. One weight down. Halo. Keeping your ribs pulled in, core engaged. Let's grab a quick sip of water. push-up is safe for you, you can go ahead, elbows graze the bottom of the ribs, pointing directly behind, push-up 
pushing back into child's pose. Moving forward into another kneeling push-up. Back to child's pose, back and forth. thoracic rotation, we can bring our elbow out to the side, we're going to open up, peek to the side, and reach through. Let's tuck our toes, moving into a bear hover. Knees just a couple inches off the ground. Amazing release down. We'll set up for tricep push ups on the other side. Moving into child's pose. Push up, child's pose. Coming to all fours, thoracic rotation. I guess actually this is the only part that's on the other side. Peek to the back of the room, and then reach through. Core is strong. You can stay hovering in your bear, or you can alternate stepping your feet back. Amazing down. Let's keep our hips in the air. Walk forward into puppy pose. Take our palms together and then drag our elbows on the ground for a nice tricep stretch here. Big breath into your side and back ribs. Exhale out. Releasing your hands down. Let's walk our way back up. We're gonna come on to our glutes for tricep dips. Core is engaged, dipping down. We're gonna dip and lift our glutes up. We 
take me from this tree I'm in it I need to get in closer to you I swear you might not see Last one. Let's find a side plank here. We can keep our back foot as a kickstand if that's easier. Reaching through and up, pressing your forearm in, really lifting through your side body. Lowering your hips down, we can roll over to the other side. Reaching through. Beautiful, release down. We're gonna find plank position on our forearms. You can either be on your knees or full plank. Wherever is safe for you, engaging your core, pressing your forearms in, shoulder blades, scapula reaching apart. Again, knees can be lowered down at any time. Just watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. So keep us awake till the dawn. Oh, baby, feel free. I wanna make you sweat on me. I wanna make you sweat on me. I got you wrapped around my finger. But don't you try. Amazing, and lower down. Take a breath. Let's press into child's pose again. Let's move into our tricep stretch one more time, puppy pose bringing your hands together, and then dragging your body back, getting a nice stretch through your triceps. Keeping lifted through your back, not dumping, core is engaged. Slowly release out. Come back to all fours, we'll thread the needle. One arm under. We're gonna focus on putting our weight on our shoulder for a nice stretch here. Exhale, coming up. Switching sides. Pushing into your hand, coming up. Let's stretch through our chest here. You can take one arm out to the side and then lower down, getting a nice stretch through the front of your shoulder. Good, switching to the other side. back up to all fours. So we can either move in from child's pose to 
an upward dog pose. If that doesn't feel good for you, you can do child's pose to cat pose. So wherever you are, One last time. Releasing out. My arms are burning. I hope you feel you've got a great upper body and arm workout in. If you have an extra 10 minutes, this video here goes perfectly with today's arm workout. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.